So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic photographs from a very static image. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines, and welcome to the channel. So once again, welcome to my small home studio. This is a relatively small shooting area of about two meters wide and three and a half meters deep. And today I'm gonna to be doing a very, very simple portrait. It's just a clamshell portrait. Now the clamshell portrait or the clam lighting is really just a beautiful beauty light. However, instead of taking static images, I want to create some more, a bit of dynamic movement without having to really do too much. Now, in order for me to achieve that, I will be using a new piece of equipment that I've actually fallen in love with. This is a brand new Nightcore Cine Wind. So what does it do? It's basically a hair blower that you could take with you all the time. It's powered by two NPF 970 batteries like so. Let me show you. There, two NPF 9070 batteries. So one on each side. Then you turn this one on. And instantly you have powerful, you have a basically a very small but powerful wind machine. Wait, let me turn this one off because it is a bit noisy. But again, I'm not using it for video. I'm using it for photos so the noise doesn't really bother me. So you've got a, a knob here that you can turn on the power and look with this one, this is v basically very weak. But the moment I make it stronger, look at that. Look at how strong that thing is. And it is, it lasts so long actually. And you've got some screws here. So one fourth and quarter inch, or I think this is quarter inch and one half screws. So you could mount it on a light stand, which I will be doing today. Now, aside from the Cinewin, which will now give me basically those dynamic movements of my hair, I still need to be able to freeze that motion or to freeze that hair. Wait, let me turn this one off. So I need to be able to freeze that. And how will I do that? I'll be using this light. This is the Profoto B10X Plus. And the nice thing about Profoto lights is that there is a very special menu here. Let me show you. There's a very special menu here that when you press it, it goes flash mode, normal, or freeze. And what does that do? Basically, it makes the flash duration faster. Because with flash photography, in order for you to freeze motion, you have to make that flash duration fast. In other words, it has to reach peak power, and then that's it. So the faster it reaches peak power, the more stoppage you will have when it comes to movement. Okay, so let's do a little bit of demo. And for me to be able to do that, I think it's time for me to call in my wife, Coco, who will be my model for today. So hi, babe. Hi. Of course, you look fantastic. And before anything else, before I start shooting my lovely wife, let's talk about the camera that I will be using today. So the camera that I'm using is my Sony A7R Mark V with a 24 to 70 2.8 GM lens. Now, again, I am recording everything using my Atomos Ninja V, which will actually show you a live view of what my camera sees. Therefore, everything that you're seeing is more or less straight out of camera unless stated otherwise. You guys might be wondering what this is. This is a Feel World LUT 7. It's a brand new monitor that I'm using now that I am totally in love with. Why? Because it's such a big screen. It's tethered to my monitor. Well, there now you can see it's tethered to my camera so that Coco can actually see how she looks like. And why am I so in love with this monitor? It's because it gives accurate colors, the best monitor in terms of color accuracy that I've seen right out of the box for this particular setup, okay? So you can see now that I have my light set up this way. This is the normal clamp-shaped lighting, the Pro Photos up there, and it's gonna be triggered remotely using this one, the Pro Photo trigger here. So let me turn this one on, okay? So my settings are, you could see actually my settings, my settings are one over 200 F2.8 ISO 100. Okay, so babe, do you mind coming in a bit closer? There. So this is a standard shot now, just how we would normally want it to be. This is your beauty shot. Okay. Well, one more. Smiling. Very nice. All right. Beautiful. Now the thing is, we want a bit more 
a dynamic feel to the image, right? So let's turn on now our wind machine. If you notice, I actually mounted it on my light stand very simply by using this brass monkey, just mounting it here. And there you go. So let's turn this one on. And I love it. We don't have to do, normally for us to get wind blown here, we'd have to use like a styrofoam board and control the wind. But this one, we can just leave it. Wait, let me turn it on. In order for you to turn it on, you have to like press it, then long press it. It's a fail safe thing in order for you not to accidentally press it when it's in your bag. And you know, I also use this one during hot days as an electric fan actually, it really helps a lot. So look at that. Let's start off with very subtle movements of the hair. Beautiful, let me go in a bit closer. Oh, I love that. Can you look towards me? Wow, nice. Let's make it slightly stronger there. Yeah, you could do, yeah, you could do whatever it is that you want to do. There, very nice. How nice, I love that. There, hold that. Don't smile too much. Oops, oh, your eyelashes, it's oh, being no. blown away. It's all right. See, that's how powerful this thing is. It's actually blowing, blowing away her eyelashes. So forgive us for that one. Wardrobe, mal well, it's not a wardrobe malfunction. Technical malfun malfunction. Okay, let's do a few more, babe. You know what? We'll cut the video here first. Let's fix that. Let's fix Who's strong? I know, I know. We should have, we decided to use magnetic eyelashes. So you could see how, wow, that actually looks fantastic there. Fantastic, babe. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. All right. Nice. It's really, really nice. How about profiling this way? I'll move this one so that it's, it's being side blown mm -hmm. there. Oh. Yeah. Make it slightly stronger. Yeah, you can, you can do that. Okay. Maybe that hair, make it go over your face a bit, the hair on your right side. Okay. See how much control we have now? Instead of there, Is okay, it? yeah, okay. try it. I love that. Oh, that's beautiful. Hold on, hold on, hold that. I'm gonna make this one stronger. Mm -hmm. Now it's at full power. Go, one, two, three, go. Face me. Oops, I think that's too much. <laughs> it's too much, right? Okay. So let's bring it down again. Make it subtle. I, it's the hair here that's bothering me. So let's bring it down a bit. There. Okay. You can see yourself, right? So that's a beautiful thing about this monitor. She could see exactly how she looks like. There. Just a little bit. Nice. You see the subtlety of that wind-blown hair. It's just beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. How about oh, face, oh, okay. sorry. Face me straight, face. You know, guys, we haven't done this in a while. I hope you miss us because we miss creating content like this for you guys. There we go. Can we have one straight on towards me? Yeah. And just, just give me a very fierce look maybe there. If you're gonna do that, I think I will transfer it back here. and just make it slightly stronger. There we go. Beautiful. Straight shoulder towards me. Straight shoulder towards me, yeah? Sorry, there, straight shoulder towards me. Just give me, then play around with your hands a little bit. There, that's it, that's it. Profile going here, yeah. Beautiful. So many things we can do. Thank you very much, babe. You look fantastic. Again, this is the brand new Cinewind from Nightcore. Fantastic, fantastic accessory for you to bring around during shoots. And if it gets hot, you could always use it as your own personal fan. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions with regards to this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. Now, if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.